Hello, everybody. Now, all of us have seen superbikes and carbon fiber made open cockpit cars race on the track since decades. We've seen them perform donuts, drift around, and stunt on the racetracks. But have you ever imagined what happens when size, and when I say size, I mean massive, really massive size, meets speed? What happens when giants are unleashed on the racetracks? What happens when a 300 horsepower engine roars in front of thousands of people? What happens when trucks get into the action on the race circuits? Let's have a glimpse. Fascinating, isn't it? So to begin with the saga, let's have a glance at the era when it all set off. It all began in 1979 in USA at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, where huge, really huge sized trucks were seen chasing each other at 250 kilometers per hour for the very first time. For years now, the world has come to terms with truck racing as a sport. And this iconic game has been enjoyed across Europe, US and other parts of the world. But, my dear friends, for the very first time, proudly announcing the Truck Racing Championship is about to take place in our very own country, the beautiful land of India. So, the question is, who is pioneering this sport in India? Who has taken this step to create history for the nation? Well, let me tell you, it's a company that has been a key player in the automobile industry for decades. The company is none other than Tata Motors, and they call it the Tata T1 Truck Racing Championship. So what inspired India's number one commercial vehicle company to initiate this new saga of motorsports in India? And to answer this and give us a sneak preview about the making of the T1 Truck Racing Championships, we have Mr. Vinod Sahai, Head Sales and Marketing, Medium and Heavy Trucks, Tata Motors, up close and personal. Welcome, Vinod. Thanks, Amir. One thing I can say looking at you is you propagate the fact that size does matter. It does. It certainly does. Thank you for uh, giving us these exciting times as racing fans. The world of the fast and the furious awaits us. And of course, the world where size meets speed. Speaking of size, how massive is massive when we talk about these racing trucks? Some of these are massive trucks. Uh, they are heavy haulers, capable of carrying load up to 150 tons with 380 horsepower and with 9-speed gearbox. So these are uh, quite heavy machines and maximum up to what you can see it on Indian roads. I want to ask you for a couple of tickets to be right there up and close at the boat terminal. It's going to be exciting to watch these monsters on the road. Now, you know, I know they're massive, but I'm very intrigued. Tell me a bit more about these trucks who are going to be out there at the races. Uh, see, these trucks are, uh, as I said, this is on our Prima platform, which uh, as we call it, is a world truck. But even Prima had to go to a lot of changes to, to make it race worthy uh, for an event like this. So there are close to 22 modifications which we had to do to get these trucks uh, something which FIA and FMSCI has now certified that these are race worthy trucks and can go to any racing event across the world. So let us rewind this journey and witness the different stages of manufacturing and testing of India's first racing truck. When uh, we got the theme of making the racing truck, uh, we decided that we got to have a very clear learning put into. So we did a lot of research, uh, research from uh, basically from uh, what these trucks look like, what actually go into making that truck, as also we tried to understand that what modification we have to bring to our truck to make it race worthy. The difficulty was availability of material, the conversion of the vehicle as per the racing norms. They wanted the SUPDs, the roll cage inside the cab and the RUPD fitted on the vehicle. The driver racing seat had to be fitted on it 
with a specific base. Similarly, we needed a detachable steering. The existing fuel tank was 360 liters, but they needed a 90 liter fuel tank. Then the sprinklers to cool the brake drums was a challenge. We fitted some jets and some pipelines and we connected it electrically to the brake so that when we applied the brake, there will be a spray on the brake drums for cooling it. According to us, we have met all the safety norms which they had required. My name is K. Krishnamurti. My mission today is to ensure that the vehicle that they are preparing is safe enough to go on the track. There are several rules and regulations which stipulate various safety equipment that needs to be installed, how they should be installed, what further protection needs to be done, what the marshals will have to take action to ensure the truck is shut down in case of a collision or in case of an overturn. All factors is need to be checked. From day one, we have been looking at the specifications. We have followed the British racing specifications mostly, which is very similar to the world body FIA specifications also. So each item of the vehicle was analyzed to see what changes had to be made to bring it into the specifications for safety. Hello, my name is Steve Horn, and I've come from the British Truck Racing Association over in England to test drive the first Tata racing truck. It's all about truck control and it's part of your mind that's set with your truck. And after a few minutes, I felt as one and we can, we can put her into this drifting and sliding. It's just pure truck control. I've driven the truck for the first time and uh, I like its handling very, very well. I can see great things coming from this championship. If you can imagine 14 guys all able to do this, racing on the track all together, it's going to be quite a spectacle for people to see. On behalf of my team, we are very happy that even if it is a new and challenging project, we could able to finish it in a very short time. And we really enjoyed working with this project. Every stakeholder, ERC, vendors, our supply chain, everybody has helped us in making this project successful. Well, after the insides and sneak peeks at the event and the trucks, what are we doing here in the studio? Let's go right into the battlefield where the real action awaits to take place. I'm out of here. This place is huge. This is massive. I welcome one and all to the Budh International Circuit. This will be the battleground for India's first ever truck racing championship. I welcome you all to the Tata Motors T1 Prima Racing Championship. This is the racing track where all the action will take place. The giants are going to roar while the wheels will spin for glory. Now this is the grand seating area. On race day, it'll be packed to capacity. Thousands of people screaming and cheering for their giant challengers to win. And I'll tell you what, makes a great view. To get a grand view of the races while sitting in the heart of luxury, there's no better place to be at than the Paddock Club. Out here, sip on your tasty beverage while you hobnob with the who's who of the city and watch the races in style. Tell you what, I could get used to this. In the next few days, Tata Motors will create history by bringing the first ever truck racing championship to the country. 
2014 will be marked as a year when truck racing came to India for the very first time. Now, like me, like you, all of us are supremely excited. So let's get this joyride on the road. I'm going to see you on a 23rd of March at the Bud International Circuit. Did I forget to mention? Fasten your seatbelts. Oh,